The DRDO has conducted the first user-specific test of the new version of the indigenously built Shorya nuclear-capable hypersonic tactical missile from a land-based platform in full operational configuration. The Shorya was tested for a range of 800 km today, and has a maximum range of 1,900 km, and can carry a payload of 200 kg to 900 kg. The Max 7.5 capable Shorya is speculated to be a land variant of the already operational K-15 SLBM of the Indian Navy, but the DRDO have denied its connection with the K-15 program. Top experts have said that enemy radar systems across both the northern and western borders will have less than 400 seconds to detect, track and intercept the Shorya from anti-ballistic systems, as it flies at more than 2.5 km per second and has a higher degree of maneuverability. The Shorya also has an element of surprise, as it can be kept underground in camouflaged locations to protect it from enemy surveillance, and it cannot be detected by satellite imaging. India has issued an OTAM warning for the test of an experimental flight vehicle for the period from 12 October to 14 October, which can be the last developmental test of the indigenously developed near-bay subsonic cruise system. A limited number of pre-production systems have already been moved to the line of actual control, which has both terrain hugging and sea skimming capability that helps it avoid detection and enemy countermeasures. Hindustan Aeronautics is engaging with the Defence Ministry to begin the process to place orders for the light utility helicopters and light combat helicopters, and the top management of Hindustan Aeronautics is also interested to take up the development of the next generation of combat helicopters, which will have twice the maximum takeoff weight of the current light combat helicopter, and HAL is now keen to explore the possibility of combined requirements for both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. The Indian Air Force has received 22 Apache helicopters, and the Indian Army has already ordered six Apache helicopters in February 2020, but Army's total requirement is for 39 helicopters, which could possibly grow to 100 units combined with the requirement of the Indian Air Force. A retired Lieutenant General of the Indian Army has said, that most of the howitzers from US, France, Germany and Israel had faced barrel burst incident even during lower zones of testing that involves lower pressures, and in almost every case the investigation report pointed towards ammunition. He also said, that blaming the indigenous advanced towed artillery gun system is a bit far-fetched, as they have already tested almost 2,000 rounds and they easily withstood high pressures. The ATAGS has greater than 95% indigenous content, and the complete supply chain from raw material to end product lies within the country. As per latest intelligence reports, the Chinese army is helping Pakistan to install the Chinese HQ-16 surface-to-air defense systems in POK. China has developed the HQ-16 with the all anti cooperation of Russia, which is also the designer of the Russian S-400 system. The HQ-16 can intercept flying aerial targets at altitudes of 15 meters to 18 kilometers, and the maximum interception range for fighter jets is 40 kilometers. The navies of India and Bangladesh have started a joint naval exercise in the Bay of Bengal, which will be followed by a two-day joint maritime patrolling in the region to further expand operational coordination between the two forces. Anti-submarine corvettes and frigates from both navies will participate in surface combat exercise and helicopter operations.